The diagram shows an arrangement to stop trains that are travelling too fast. Let's read the question. Train coming from the left at a speed of 50 meter per second at marker 1. So this means by the time it reaches marker 1 here, the speed is 50 meter per second. The driver must apply the brakes so that the train decelerates uniformly. So this is another cue to use your Stuva equation kinematics equation of motion in order to pass marker 2 at time at no more than 10 meter per second so by the time i reach the speed cannot exceed 10 meter per second yet. all right the train carries a detector that notes the time when the train passes each marker and will apply an emergency brake Ooh. If the time between passing marker 1 and marker 2 is less than 20 seconds. So, how do you know your brake is not working properly? How do you know that when you pass through marker 2, you are faster than 10? Well, what, what it does is that it will take time. So, if let's say, for example, you are traveling, you haven't dropped down to 10, you will have a shorter time. Okay? So if it's less than 20 seconds, the emergency brake will turn on because probably there's a platform here, you know, and we don't want we don't want things to be dangerous. Okay? So normally if you look at if you look at the train system, especially the underground trains, you will notice that there are markers, okay? Detectors. All right. So the question is asking, how far should marker 2 marker 2 be placed from marker 1? Okay? So right now we have a lot of information, but thankfully there's a diagram, so we can easily uh, stuva, list down the stuva list for us. Let me scroll down a bit. All right. So you can think about, well, I can S-T-U-V-A, right? I want to find how far away the markers are, okay? Um, it says this one is 20 seconds. So if it's more than 20 seconds, means means uh, this train is traveling too fast. Initial speed is 50, final speed is 20, and we know it's uniform acceleration, but we don't have values for A. Oh, this one don't have, okay? So before I continue, I uh, just want to make sure that everything is SI first. Okay, now we can substitute. Okay, so I will use the equation without A, S is equal to half u plus v times t okay so from here i will have half uh 20 eh no 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 it's 10 50 and 10 this is 10 meter per second so 50 plus 10 multiplied by the time 20 so this will give me 600 meters yay okay so this is how you can use equation you list down what you have you make sure that you are the acceleration is uniform, then you can go ahead and use the equation. But some of you may be thinking, can I can use graph to describe this cat? So sometimes if you are a very visual person, sketching the VT graph is always very helpful. Okay, so let's say this is my VT graph. The train uh, in meter per second and second here, the train was traveling at 50, 50, 50, 50, and then it would decelerate until it is 10. Okay, so marker 1 is where it starts to decelerate. Marker 2 is where it should be 10 meter per second. So you are given the in time interval between these two. If it exceeds 20 seconds, then we emergency break. So we are looking for the area under this trapezium, which will end up to be the same as the equation here sum of the parallel lengths times height. Okay, so sometimes drawing the equation will help. Because drawing the equation can help, drawing the equation, drawing the graph can help you see what is going on. Like for example, this actually helps me visualize if let's say the train uh, doesn't decelerate fast enough, then you can see that uh, in 20 seconds, we will cover a larger area. Okay. So meaning to say, if it uh, exceeds 20 seconds, then less than 20 seconds, then it will hit the buzzer. Okay. 
So because less than 20 seconds, this area under the green line is definitely more than 600. So by the time you reach 600, it, the time is less than 20 seconds. So it helps my brain think about other scenarios. Okay, but that's it for this question. Nice and short and sweet. Be sure you go through the steps, list down, choose equation, draw a graph to validate if you need to. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Do questions. Do more.